This is the story <laughs> of Baby Mia. Baby <laughs> Mia is the newest member to our family. She's Brecken's new kitty cat. And so Brecken is going to tell you all the story of how this little girly girl girl came to be part of our family. It is going to break your heart. It is going to warm your heart. You're going to fall in love with this sweet little kitty cat girl just like we have. So, this is what happened. This was around like three or four o'clock in the afternoon. I get a text from my boyfriend saying that um, him and his friends were going to eat lunch. And when they pulled into the restaurant, they noticed the car behind them was also pulling in. And the lady came out and like tapped on their window and said, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but I think we just saw like a little white kitten crawl underneath your car. And so him and his friend get out, check underneath it. They don't see anything. So they eat their lunch, go on with their day. Six or so hours pass and um, Blake and I had gone to eat dinner and we're on the way back to go to his house and we hear meow and we're like, wait, hold meow. on. <laughs> Mia. <laughs> and so immediately we just like pull over to the side of the road and get out and start looking for her. And I'm over like by his back tire and she meows again. And at this point I'm like, okay, there's for sure a kitten underneath there. Like we got to get her out. So we called his friend that he was at lunch with earlier that day and he came back to help us look. And finally we could actually like see her, like knew for sure she was under there because we could see her through the tire. And so his friend pulls up and both of them are like underneath the car searching and they see her where they can get her out. She was a little stuck, but got her out. <laughs> um, she didn't look the best at the time. She had like black stuff underneath her eye. We couldn't even tell if she was white or if she was kind of a gray color because she was so dirty. We just took her, wrapped her up in a little blanket, took her back to Blake's house and gave her food, water and everything that she needed for the night. Then the next morning, um, I took her here to our house and that's when mom met her for the first time. So Brecken called me or started texting me that night at like 10.30 at night, telling me what was going on and sending me some videos of Mia. The next morning, we decided to clean Mia up. We were gonna take her to the animal shelter. Called the animal shelter. They said they couldn't take her because the shelter was full. They were turning away all animals. I got her face cleaned up. It was all just eye yucky. She does have a really bad eye infection, but she's white and a little bit of gray with some brown on her ears. She's trying to get away and hide because she doesn't like the noises and the dogs barking. But she is little bitty bitty. She's a kitten for sure. We gave Mia a bath. She was covered in fleas and little teeny baby ticks. We had to get tweezers to get off all the fleas because she's a white kitty. So as soon as you got her wet, you could see the fleas scrambling. So we got off the fleas, pulled out the little baby ticks. Her eyes were gunked up. Black around them. Yeah, like in yellow, like mucus that had gunked up her eyes. She could barely open her eyes. So once we cleaned her eyes off in the bath and she realized she could actually open her eyes, then she started looking around. We could see her blue eyes. She's so all pretty. clean and we're laying out in the sunshine getting warm. And she's all white and cute with little ginger ears. She has no fleas. And we're going to get eye drops for her eyes. <laughs> Look at her little beans. They are ginger. They are. Her she tail is. is ginger too. Yeah. Cat house and my new sidekick for the day. Look how pretty and white she is now that she's had a bath and her tail is ginger and her little ears are ginger, but the rest of her's white. And we're going to the vet. I had to move that dresser to get her out of there. And oh my God, she's a fighter. But we got it. Look at your beans. Yeah. Look how fluffy she is. Are you all fluffy now? Mm hmm. Girl.
But we wrapped her up, took her to the vet. They put flea and tick medicine on her. They gave her dewormer and some ointment to put in her eyes. So brought me a home with full intentions of taking her to the animal shelter the following week when the shelter had room. Well, that changed, obviously. <laughs> Here she is. So baby Mia every day. Well, we've had her up in this spare bedroom because Mia cannot be with Brecken's cat Mochi because Mia is too young to be tested for certain cat diseases like feline leukemia. So we've had to keep them separated. Mochi, you got a sister girl. You're gonna get to meet Mia later this week. Yeah, you're super excited about it, Mochi. <laughs> Mochi is always upside down. <laughs> always. <laughs> but you're excited, huh, Mochi? You're gonna have a sister. Oh, a sister. So fast forward, this is now 10 days later. Mia's been here with us. She is flea and tick free. Her eyes are all cleared up. She is completely- Full of energy. Full of energy. <laughs> She's dewormed and she is the most adorable, sweetest, little, full of life kitty cat. We bought her some toys. She's running around right now playing on this little cactus scratchy thing, hitting the tripod with the phone because she's playing in the cat tunnel. <laughs> I missed. Whoa! That was cute. <laughs> oh! She's a jumper. She is a jumper. Yes. Mia! 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 What are you doing? <laughs> are you trying to get my hand? You sweet, sweet thing. We talked to Kendall, my oldest daughter, and Kendall said, ooh, 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 a really cool name for her would be Mia. I think that's when it sealed the deal, yeah. when she got a name. Yeah, once the, ow, once she was named. There was no going back. <laughs> no going back. Obviously, as you can tell, Mia is here to stay. So she's going to be here until August, until Brecken goes back to school. And then Mia is going back to school with Brecken and she's not staying here. We don't really know her age. The vet said she was eight weeks old by her best guess, looking at her teeth when we took her in that first day. But she will get to meet Mochi later this week. So that's going to be a whole new thing. But we will keep you all posted and share with you in future videos this summer. Mia and Mochi and Pollux and Maxie. Because Pollux and Maxie know there's a cat up here. Mia will run around and play in that tunnel. And all of her balls have little bells in them and twinkle sounds. And the dog's here. And they stand downstairs and bark. So we're going to have to figure out a way to get all the animals in one big room together. The vet tells us that Mia is part Siamese cat and she is a flame, what is it? Flame point. Girl. So they said she is part flame tips. You can see her tail is orange and the tips of her ears are orange. So we got her orange little tail. Yeah, with the little so, stripes on so it. So pretty and her little ears. Let me see your ears. Flame tip little orange ears. Oh, Mia. <laughs> And her little bitty uh, kitty little cat beans. belly. Her little beans. Y'all, when, when Mia first got here, her little pads were black from running around in the street and the dirt. And it took a couple days for them to actually pink up. But her little belly was all bloated up from eating who knows what. But we got you all fixed up, didn't we, girly girl? Mia. Are you taking video because you can hear purring so loud? Are you a purr girl? She's a purr. Just a way, you little baby. Oh, you went down now? <laughs> yeah. She's a shoulder kitty, too. Get up there. Show them. Okay. No, no, not going to show them. She's a little survivor. She was under that car she for is. at least like six hours or so riding around. She is feisty too. She gets on, uh, gets the zoomies. She is so rambunctious and so full of energy and <laughs> such a sweet, 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 sweet little girl. Are you going to mm -hmm. look at the camera, Mia? No. Her and Mochi are going to be besties. They're going to be I besties. Know. Look little at the white camera. Kitties.
You jump. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah, we got Crack Kitty coming out. Full energy. She does the kitty cat zoomies. <laughs> Loves to get on the scratching post. Oh, oh. Mia, you have such a loud purr. So that's the story of baby Mia. So much more to come. She's gonna be here all summer long. She's going back to school with Brecken in the fall. All she did for the first couple of days when she was here was hide and sleep, but now she's gotten used to us. So when we come in the bedroom, she runs out. She wants to get in your lap or get on your shoulder or play and she definitely loves to purr. She's mm -hmm. such a sweet little girl. So Say we'll bye Mia. Bye Mia. <laughs> See you later.